What is up, YouTube? Good evening. You're back at us on the My League Rebuild, and today we are doing a Jimmy Butler trade. He's gonna get traded once again. He got traded from the Chicago Bulls. You already know it hurt. It hurt a little bit, but we got a nice little young core now. I am a Bulls fan, um, so we got a nice we got nice pieces right back. But before the video starts, though, guys, let's try to hit a hundred likes and, and and just spam it. Just spam it. Just a cool little hundred. No more, no less. Let's just see if we can hit that. But let's get right to it, man. You've heard the rumors. Kyrie and Jimmy want to go play together. Maybe that's possibly a a possibility in the coming year because he is a free agent. I'm pretty sure so is. Kyrie Irving, if I'm not mistaken, uh, it's been said that they want to play together. I, how true that is? Who knows? Who knows? Because it was a for sure thing that Paul George was going to the Lakers, that he was going back home. That didn't happen. But what, we're going to make it happen. We're going to... He's he's disgruntled. He's not happy with Minnesota. He's not happy with how Carl Anthony Towns' his work ethic, I guess, is what I heard or something like that. So... We're getting rid of Jimmy. Going to try to rob the Hawks and get Trey Young and John Collins and the 2018 unprotected. Hopefully, Jimmy is not enough to take them to the playoffs, which he might be because it is the weak East. So we're going to go ahead and see. We're not getting enough in what we're giving up. We'll give you my first rounders. We'll give you my first rounders and we'll take yours because yours will probably worth be worth a little bit more, even though we might suck. Actually, now that I think about it, got anything else? We got one more second rounder for you. What do you mean? What do you mean? We're gonna, we got a player for you, I guess. Can you guys even take in more money? Anthony Tolliver. There you got. There you go. There you guys go. Second rounders. Holy. We're going to have to add another. They agreed. We got Trey Young. We got their pick. And we got uh, what else? John Collins, which could be our power forward of the future because Taj Gibson's on his way out. Uh, so Rudy Gobert is always in here, but I'm only going to do this to flip Rudy. I'm going to do this to flip through Rudy. I would love Rudy to start at center and then Carl Anthony Towns at power forward. That would be just overpowered. But I'm not going to let that happen. We're going to go ahead and, and trade him away and try to find something else for us. Maybe the starting shooting guard that we need. Uh, Jeff Teague, Taj Gibson. I didn't even know we had that lottery protected, but we're going to take that right out. And they want it. And they want another second rounder. How many second rounders we got? I didn't even know we could throw in that Thunder pick, but let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and add a player if we can. John Collins, Trey Young, Justin Patton, D. Rose, D. Rose. The Jazz team do not want it. Just give us your worst player. We got D. Rose. It's as good, more valuable than a pick, right? There you go. Rudy Gobert, come to our team only to be flipped. I'm going to take the Rudy Gobert and John Collins one for Bradley Beal. 24 years old. He's already close to a 90. I don't know if he's going to improve. As, he, as long as he stays 88, I'm cool with it. John Collins, unfortunately, is going to move up into the 80s, maybe even mid-80s, like 85. But we'll find another big man to pair up with Carl Anthony Towns, maybe a power forward, maybe a center, and move Carl to the power forward spot. But so far, so good. We got ourselves Towns, Beal, Wiggins, and Trey Young as our uh, future. And we just got to develop Trey Young, couple seasons, Jay Crowder, trade bait, Gorgie Dang, uh, cap space relief, and, 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 and all that. Same with Manahimi. Everybody that has a big contract, we're going to go trade them away, and we're going to try to make the beastliest team over here in Minnesota. This trade right here is beautiful. We'll get a 3 and D type player for the coming seasons to be $10 million off the bench. Perfect. 6'9", small forward shooting guard, a 3 and D type guy. TJ McConnell, a very nice backup point guard as well. So we're getting two pieces to come off our bench for the rest of at least two seasons for TJ. But uh, this season, next season, and we're getting rid of Jake Crowder's contract in 15 million, 16 and 17. So we're saving money. We're saving money here. We're bringing in technically like 11, 12 million dollars for the following season instead of all this. So we are giving up a first rounder lottery protected though from the Thunder and we got ourselves two nice bench pieces. I'm pretty sure I could convince them to just take uh, in our contracts and give us Alex Len. So we're going to take that out. Wait, no, they would actually acquire 10 million. Do they have an expiring contract somewhere? Jay Lynn, I don't think they would give us dead men. Tolliver, bring back Tolliver. Bring back, I mean, not bring back. Give us dead. Nope, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. I don't think they'll give us Lynn either yet. Okay, well, straight up cap relief then because George Hill is on a team option for the next season, which we will decline. Uh, Jan Mahimi, uh, 15 milli, and then 15 again the following season. Tyus Jones, just to have someone to actually take that contract, will take a 2021. They want Anthony Brown, who is 25 years old. 
Okay, take him. We'll take a second rounder that might be clutch in a following trade. So we don't really have another big man to pair up with Carl Anthony Towns right now. I'm going to go with Whiteside. He popped up in the trade finder when I put in George Hill and M. Brooks. So it looks like they, the Heat just want to get rid of him for nothing. George Hill and Brooks, two old vets. Legit, they're, they're both over 30. And Hassan Whiteside's 28. Udonis has him. They're trading him away, which is kind of not cool because he's a Heat lifer man he should be there forever but we took that and we're gonna go ahead and probably move towns to power forward he goes up one overall and i think that's it for this year's trades we did an insane amount of trades have cpu rebuild we got trey young bradley beal wiggins towns white side defensively white side hopefully get some blocks a lot of boards a lot of boards for towns not the best defender in Wiggins, solid defender in Beal, and then Trey Young. I don't know if he's good at all or not. Who knows? Robert Covington, though. Nice defense. Nice three-point shooting off the bench. TJ McConnell, nice point guard off the bench. Justin Patton, I think I'm going to send to the G League so he becomes a solid backup center for us. So let's just go ahead and do this. And we don't really have a... We don't really got a bench. We're going to give some minutes to... <laughs> we're going to give a lot of minutes to our starters. How about that? We'll give him five. Uh, Udonis could have ten minutes. Go ahead. Twenty-one... Yo, y'all are crazy. Y'all are crazy. Whiteside, go ahead. Get yourself some more minutes. Go ahead. Make the all-star team. Go ahead. Make a defensive team. And then same with Trey Young. That's what we'll go with. Terrible bench. Uh, I mean, our first two off the bench are solid. And then the rest are trash. But we got to go ahead. Send our youth to the G League. Do we not have enough players? That might be it. That might be it. We might not have enough players. Let's go ahead and sign. Bring back Jamal Crawford. <laughs> Will he say yes? We don't have a shooting guard off our bench, right? We have... Yeah, we don't have a shooting guard off our bench. I don't think so. Why not? Just bring back Jamal. Have CPU adjust rotation. And then hopefully be able to send that you that young guy to um the G League. Justin Penn. Assigned to G League. And we're good to go. And just like that, we're good to go. We're pretty much running an eight-man rotation. We'll go ahead and do it. I'll see you guys at the end of the season with the Hawks pick. And a young, young core that hopefully improves. At the end of season number one, Steph Curry, like always, pretty much uh, wins the MVP award. Luka Doncic, who I tried trading for so hard, it wins Rookie of the Year. Nikola Vucevic, sixth man. Defensive player, Drummond. Chris Dunn, most improved. Coach of the Year, Nick Nurse, 64 and 18. What did what did the Warriors finish? Carthony Towns makes an all a second team at the forward spot. Obviously, he's not a center any longer. He probably would have made it there too. But hey, we switched him over to forward spot. So he stole the forward spot to whoever was supposed to be there. And Whiteside makes an all-defensive second team. We might just end up keeping him depending on if we sign some other superstar. If he even wants to accept his uh, player option. Because uh, I don't know if I want to give him more than what he's going to make. Which is, I believe, $24 million. And then Trey Young, obviously all rookie first team because he's probably beast and making a lot of points. Quick statistics check for the season. Towns is our leading scorer with 12 and a half boards. All right, Whiteside's getting 13. Wow, we're just swallowing up all these boards. It's all ours. Defensive, offensive, whatever it may be, it's ours. 19 a game, 16.8 for Trey Young. Beal's getting 16, Wiggins 15, so we got a bunch of scores that could score 20. All these guys can score 20. Once in a while, Whiteside probably as well. Covington, 12 off our bench. Uh, 10 for Crawford off the bench. Not going to bring him back because he's probably going to get worse. TJ McConnell, though, dope. He's happy. He's a 77. We are up against the new look Thunder who uh, picked up some nice pieces. Resigned George. You know that. Dennis Schroeder. Then uh, Nerlens Noel um, is, is a nice two is a nice two pieces off the What am I doing? New, two nice pieces off the bench. Do we beat that in the playoffs? Maybe. Possibly. I really don't care for this seed. Did the Hawks make it? The Hawks got the sixth seed. Come on, bro. Jeremy Lin, Jimmy Butler, Torian Prince. I guess. In that week. I guess. 17 a game? That's kind of trash. A little bit. But, okay. So that pick's not going to be worth much. I really don't even know if I want to draft anybody that late in the draft. We get eliminated for one. Go ahead and see who wins. Um... It's going to be, I think, Golden State or Toronto. Golden State or Toronto. That's it. That's usually what happens. And it looks like Toronto. Oh, oh. Seven game series. Warriors take it. Steph Curry wins MVP and finals MVP in the same season. Let's go ahead and make our own moves and get ourselves in the finals. Wait a second. This is who we drafted with our 19th pick. I didn't even go in the draft. I didn't. This is who we ended up getting. I We're signing this dude. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? He's 75 overall. I just looked him up on my other screen right here, and he is the second in, in the 
the second shooting guard in his class. The second best shooting guard in his class. Number one in state. Number one regional. Five-star recruit. Yes. He's 19. We're bringing him to the team. He's a great backup. Whiteside has declined. He is an 84 overall. I believe we got him when he was like an 83. TJ, we're bringing him back for 1.6 mil easily so we don't have much cash space i believe we have 20 something million in cash space and that we still have to uh, bring back Anthony towns and i like my depth i'm not gonna get rid of robert covington i'm not gonna get rid of justin Penn. i'm not gonna get rid of o o okoji okogi something like that quentin grimes we just got who's probably gonna be a beast in the future uh no we're not trading away our depth there's no reason to uh, unless wiggins for some reason doesn't improve then maybe in the future we will but this this offseason we're just bringing back Towns, and we're going to go ahead and bring back, uh, we're going to go bring back Whiteside. He made an all-defensive team. Why not? Whiteside agreed to that first contract. Anthony Towns cap hold. Yes, sir. Uh, doesn't really matter for CJ or Marcus. So, as long as we have a cap hold for Anthony Towns, we are set to go. Anybody that offers them, we can match it. Go ahead and match that, and we're good. Towns, Whiteside, our big men are right back, and our youth should be improving. And we're good to go for the following season because we have enough depth as well as uh, in our shooting guard spot, our small forward spot, our point guard spot, and even our center spot with Justin Patton since we did send him to the G League. And here it is. Towns goes up two. I'm happy. Uh, technically, he only went up one because we did uh, move him to power forward. Beal stays the same. His inside defense goes down. Really don't care there. Wiggins goes up three. Did he really? He was an 81? I don't even remember, but he's an 84 now, so I'm cool with that. Mid-range mid, mid -range game goes down for Whiteside. Not cool. Trey Young goes up four. Covington goes down one. That's okay as long as he doesn't, like, keep getting worse every season. Uh, Justin Penn sent to the G League. He's a 75 overall. Same with Josh sent to the G League. He's a 75 overall. TJ McConnell goes down as his inside D. Quentin Grimes, obviously, he's a rookie. We just got him. Um, and, yeah, that's about it. We're going to have... Probably Quentin Grimes, but well, they're both. Does he have size? Anybody ever have size for a small forward? No, they're both 6'5. I mean, they can. I mean, he's 6'4. Maybe we trade one of them, try to find something better. My Covington and Josh, throw them in there and see what happens. Year number one was a success. We got a bunch of pieces that we needed. We got bench pieces that we needed, and we just, we're just set for the future now. We just wait, and hopefully young pieces improve, and hopefully our bench is in trash. Um, but here we go. Trey Young at the one. Beal, Wiggins, Towns, Whiteside, Covington, still our sixth man. Um, I don't know if I'm going to trade him away. I don't think so. Not quite yet. If he gets worse another season, then probably. But um, I just hate how bad he is. 39% from the field. Like, are you just chucking shots up? What are you doing? TJ McConnell is our backup point guard. Grimes is our backup shooting guard. Patton is our backup big man at center. And then we got Quinn Cook, who coach wanted to give him minutes, but no, we already have McConnell. And then uh, coach wanted to give Trevor Booker minutes. We got ourselves Justin Patton, who I want to play. The bad thing is Josh is not getting any minutes. Probably not going to go ahead and try to find someone else. But this is the team. We're also being coached by Mike D'Antoni now. Go ahead, simulate to the end of the season. We might stand a chance for a championship this time. We'll see, though. It might have to happen the third season or even the fourth. But all we got to do is wait now. We got a dope team. Year number two, Curry actually doesn't win the MVP. So that's cool. Zion Williamson, Rookie of the Year. Again, Nikola Vucevic for sixth man defensive player. Again, Drummond, Lance Stevenson, most improved. Steve Kerr, 61 and 21. We weren't that far off. So I think we finished second. I'm excited. We might have a chance in the second season. Towns again, an All-NBA second team. And then do we get an All-NBA type of third team? No. What about defense? Drummond, Davis, Giannis, Sexton, Sexton Chris Paul, DeAndre. Dang, we didn't make it. We didn't make it. And why is Jimmy on the... Why are you... Why <laughs> you went to Sacramento? Uh, okay, we did finish second overall with a 58 and 24 right. What did we even win last season? 48? A whole 10 games of improvement. That's it. Hey, that's insane. That's insane. Carthy Towns, 20 points and 12. So he's beasting with four assists. Uh, Trey Young, 18.7 with nine assists. Beal, 17. Wiggins, 15. So we have scoring. No problem scoring. What about our defense? We get a block here. Not really even a steal by somebody bradley beal gets a steal a game wiggins almost a steal actually everybody almost gets a steal a game white side even white side 14 and 11 what more could you ask for with two blocks a game as well covington 12 off our bench grimes our rookie eight uh, and two assists mcconnell five and five Patton four and three so let's win a championship you're number two pretty solid but they finished 42 and 40 we should be the greatly better team here, and hopefully we sweep them. Start 
Aw, come on. Started with a sweep. Started with an easy sweep, but now we're up against Chris Paul, James Harden, James and his Zach Randolph. Old Zach Randolph, Clint Capella. Zach Randolph should get destroyed by Towns. That's what I'm hoping. That's it. That's all I'm hoping. And then they got big men off the bench. Uh, Towns is probably scoring 50 points a game right now on old man Randolph. We 4 0 them. What? We're up against uh, oh, their big four. They're still all together. How do they keep them? And they have D. Rose 11 in the playoffs, guys. Go to coaching. We're going to go to coaching. We're going to go ahead and limit perimeter shots. See what happens. We, we stand a chance. What? No, oh, keep it going. Keep it going, please. How do we take the first two games and then lose all of them? We actually choked. We choked it away. But, I mean, it's a good sign. We got to the conference finals, and we took the first two games from Golden State. Uh, we could have won in the second year. At least Toronto beat them. They didn't win two years in a row now since um, they did win it last year. Kawhi Leonard goes off, wins the Raptors a championship. Dang. We could have won it. Literally only added one person. TJ McConnell's contract ran up, so we signed somebody else. Towns goes up two. Wiggins goes up four. Beal goes up in his uh, other areas, but not overall. So, honestly, I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. Trey Young, 85 overall. Now, Whiteside goes up to an 84. Grimes goes up to a 79. Covington, did he really go up? I don't, I don't even know. But uh, Josh goes up to a 77. I thought he was already a 76. Or something like that. But anyways, we signed DeLon Wright. I thought it said it was a 78. Uh, it, it lied to me, I guess. But, hey, he's going to be a nice backup point guard as well. He's got size at 6'5". And then Justin Patton improves to a 76. Top to bottom, we're good. We're good. That, I'm seriously, we could have won the championship last season. Just the simulation kind of messed us up. We went up 2-0 against the best team there. Let's see if we can do it again, but this time reach the finals. We don't need Josh. Uh, Justin Pant wasn't even getting minutes because Josh was getting the minutes, but we already have a backup shooting guard. We're going to go ahead and take this one. Miami Heat willing to offer us Bam, who is 22, or 22 years old. They want a first rounder, though, so honestly, this is a pretty fair trade because Josh, 21 years old. He's a 78 already. He looks like he's ready to get, contribute. Justin Patton can still contribute off the bench as well. We're getting Bam. Greg Monroe, I really don't care for. He's just coming as, I guess, to match the players. And we got ourselves another 80 off our bench. Here it is, guys. The lineup that I'm hoping wins the championship year number three. Trey Young, 86. Bradley Beal, 89. 88. 94. 84. Whiteside. Bam, an 82 off our bench. Grimes, pretty much an 80 once he's happy. Covington, if he gets plus two, he'll be an 80 off our bench. And then uh, DeLon Wright, 78. So borderline 80s off our bench. And then two borderline 90s and a 94 and a mid 80 and another mid 80 and Trey Young, who will most likely reach the 90s. Going to simulate to the end of the season. We won 58 games last season. If we win more than that, I'm pretty sure we're going to be the number one team in the West. Hopefully, I'll see you guys then. We might have just made a, I think we're the number one seed. 64 and 18. I think we're the number one seed, but only by one game, or we might have even tied with Golden State. Giannis, most valuable player. So this time it's not Steph Curry just constantly winning it. James Wiseman, rookie of the year, six man. Again, Nikola Vucevic. I gotta get him one of these days. Defensive player of the year, Giannis Atatugumpo. So he wins defensive player and MVP. Justin Patton, most improved once we let him go. Hurts my heart, boy. Hurts my heart. He goes from did he start? 20 deep looks like it mike d'antoni 64 and 18 for coach of the year with us of course trey young all nba first so we got an all nba first member and then we have an all nba third member that is why we are beasting out here we uh, we won 64 64 no defensive team but we are the number one team i think we tied no we are up by one from golden state this is our year let's check the statistics and then we'll go ahead and win this championship 22 and 10 assists 22 and 10 Probably ridiculous shooting. 49, 43, and 93. Almost a 50, 40, 90. That's, yeah. <laughs> That's insane in this third season. Towns scoring 18 and 11, getting four assists. Beal 16, Wiggins 16. What a perfect squad. Whiteside 13 and 10 with two assists and 1.6 blocks. Grimes 10 off our bench. He's ready to, honestly, he's ready to leave and be a starter somewhere, but we're not going to let him. Covington 9.5. Uh, Bam 5 and 6. 4 and 2 for our backup point guard. It's, it's ours. The championship's ours. First matchup is against Westbrook and Paul George, so... That could be interesting because obviously it's a 95 overrated, overrated, not overrated, rated 
beast of a monster in Russell Westbrook who can take over games by himself. But we do 4 1 them. Similar current round. We're up against Sacramento. Buddy Hill, De'Aaron Fox, Nasir Little. Jimmy's off the bench. What do you mean? He's a 92. <laughs> Why would he up? Why? Why? In what world? In what world is he coming off the bench for Buddy Hield? What? world 2k anyways that's your downfall kings we'll go ahead and 4 you even though you're the fifth seed we're up against go to state once again our nemesis in this conference do we make it past them they got curry clay durant how do you still afford everybody how do you still afford everybody and have a bench that's all i want to know that they don't have anybody on their bench making oh my gosh and they're still an 80 80 78 70 this game is broken. We're going to go ahead and take our 2-0. We're not going to go ahead and take our 2-0 lead that we took last time because last time it cursed us. So we're going to go ahead and go seven games right up. Straight up. Straight up seven games. Straight up four. Hey. <laughs> that was scary. That was scary. We're up against Lowry, Kawhi Leonard. They won it last season. Uh, Just stop Kawhi. Literally just stop Kawhi. Probably their, most, the, their best offensive play. 11 in the playoffs. For Lowry, 11. Okay, let's go look at our playoff statistics, then go ahead and simulate this. 25 points and 7.8 assists, 50. What a monster. Wiggins, 16.8. Town, 16.8. Beal, 16. Whiteside, 13. 11 off the bench. for. Uh, so two guys scoring 10 points off our bench. That's 20 points by them. That's 25. And then that's 20 and 28. 28 off our bench more than 28 off our bench just so you guys get a point of how good of a shooting team this is in 2k at least 54 percent from the field 46 percent from three 50 percent 50 percent wiggins 50 percent 43 percent towns 47 and 39 white side 58 like dude you don't stop this team you don't you don't offensively this team is stupid it's so stupidly ridiculous that we 4 won them. We beat the Warriors' big five. 20 and 12 for the finals MVP. I'm going to go one more season just because I want to see if I could win more than 64 games. It, just think if we don't have to re-sign a lot of players back. If we do, then that's probably the end of the rebuild. But I'll let you guys know. I got to go check. We actually didn't have to do anything. And now we have a s practically 490s. 490 overalls. <sighs> wow. Towns 94, Wiggins 89, Trey Young 89, Beal in 89, Whiteside's in 84, Grimes goes up to an 83 off the bench, Bam in 83 off the bench, Covington stays at a 79. I don't think why does it keep saying plus one? He doesn't go up. He hasn't been going up. And then right 78. Here it is, guys. 490 overalls to start. And then we have an 84, an 84, an 81, and a 79 off our bench. Let's go see if we win more than what? 64 games it was? See you guys at the end. See if we win another championship. Go back to back to end this rebuild. And just like that, I'm happy we went one more season and we actually did improve our record from 64 to 66 and 16. Towns gets the MVP award. Uh, Dana Vaughn, rookie of the year. I don't know who that is. Ben Simmons, six man of the year. Giannis, wait. A 94 is coming off the bench. Defense player of the year, Giannis. Uh, Wagner, v v Wagner, Morris, whatever, however you say his name, man. Most improved. Sydney Lowe for the Bulls. Hold on. You won less games than our than not that we did. That's ours. Car Anthony Towns All NBA first team, All NBA second. Trey Young, and that's about it. So two All NBA teams for our players, our main stars. We won 66 games, and I'm pretty sure the second seeded wasn't even close. 54. This, this is one of the greatest teams I've ever made. Blair stats: Trey Young is scoring more than Towns by point two, and he's getting 10 assists, and he has a 50, 40, 90. He could have won MVP. Towns, why did you win MVP? Because you almost had one as a big man. Which I, I don't know how many players have done that. Probably just Dirk. 16.54. Wiggins. Beal is 16 point, uh, 12 and 11. I mean 13 and 11. Grimes 11.6 off the bench. 8 for Covington. 6 and 6 for Bam. And Wright is getting 4 and 3. One of the greatest teams I've ever, I've ever created. Ever. One thing I only want to check is why Ben Simmons is coming off the bench. Oh, Mark. Just. I get. No. Just start him a power forward. He doesn't have to be a point guard. <laughs> Come on now. Anyways, let's go ahead and simulate. We should be able to destroy everybody because our record is so, so great. Besides the Bulls' record, where we demolish every opponent in the West. Yes, it is the West at what? Right, what? Please don't. Just please don't. Who they just they have LeBron. They still have LeBron and somehow he's a 99 and a 90 Lonzo. 88 Steven Adams. 90 Ingram. Uh-oh. 
that's LeBron James. How is he still at 99 with like when he's 40? He's essentially 40. Can we not? Thank you. We're up against Golden State once again. Like I said, our nemesis, they still have their big five. We beat them last year. Can we beat them again? Um, I'm hoping. Uh, it's always a 50-50, I think, with these guys. But, but not today. But not today. Let's go. We are in the finals against Mr. Raptors. I uh, wish it was against my Bulls. But Lowry, Kawhi Leonard, uh, you, all you guys got is Kawhi. <laughs> don't. Don't. 2K. 2K, bruh. Thank you. 4-2. There we go. And he's probably going to be Connor Anthony Towns. I'm hoping. Let's go. Trey Young wins it. Okay, so they split it. Connor Anthony Towns gets the actual MVP. Trey Young gets the finals MVP. 23 a game, 9.8 assists, and monstrous numbers. Two championships back-to-back. -back, 490 overalls after trading Jimmy Butler. Great team. Drop a like. Drop a comment down below what you thought about it. What Who would you trade Jimmy Butler for? What could you trade him for? If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, turn on those post notifications, and as always, guys, thanks for watching.